The human brain is uh, known to function uh, the following. The human brain acts as an in in information processing organ for learning, memory, thinking, and problem solving as an integrated regulatory center regulating all behaviors. In infancy, many neurons are pruned and the thickness of myelin increases. So the speed of information transfer between neurons is improved through external stimuli or especially learning. Through learning, uh, the speed of information transfer between uh, nerve cells is improved and the brain flexibly uses the left and right brains evenly. The way of being uh, from the outside, outside varies from person to person depending on the in intensity and type of external stimulus. The field of brain science research is rapidly uh, developing and various researchers based on brain research are being conducted in the fields of education and or art. Next, um, humanity, the key word among the subject of this study is the humanity. The brain-based learning promotes brain function and grafts it into learning or education. And efforts are being made to improve education based on brain-related knowledge by connecting the brain and education. The humanities also contribute to the formation of personality and smooth the interpersonal relationships by acting on brain physiology. EEG, uh, electroencephalogram, was also used as a tool in this study. Tracking the location of uh, excitatory uh, neuron according to the human cognitive process is the most important research field in brain research in relation to the localization of brain functions. The international standard of EEG measurement applies uh, the international 1020 uh, method using 21 electrode in, uh, in the international EEG. In EEG, uh, we study the, uh, the appearance rate and the proportion of each waveform by checking the expression rates of alpha, beta, delta, theta waves in the parietal, frontal, temporal, and occipital lobes through the EEG electrode for signal sounds generated in the cerebral scalp. In other words, many studies are being con uh, conducted to understand the, 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 the characteristics of electrical signal sounds generated in the uh, cerebral skull. Therefore, this is the, the, the purpose of this study uh, is the importance of education has recently uh, been emphasized and in, part, uh, in particular EEG uh, activity was analyzed after taking a humanity course for uh, 15 weeks. Due to the nature of the educational method, it is divided into science and engineering and liberal arts. In case of students entering science, there is little learning in the humanities or liberal arts. In particular, uh, we hy uh, hypothesize that there will be difference, difference in the way the brain is used through the continuous humanities. Lectures for uh, three months.
easy analysis and easy uh, reactivity reactivity were uh, analyzed and uh, activity of eg uh, reactivity in the humanity course was analyzed by comparing the uh, electrical signal wave of the left and right brain next uh, the research subject uh, we recruited a total of 67 subjects in their 20s were all healthy. They are college students at the university in uh, B region and they volunteered as a um, research candidate. Uh, the human course was conducted with uh, 36 participants and um, 31 of them did not take the um, uh, humanity course. The participants in this study were college students from the science engineering field and through the basic questionnaire, healthy people who did not experience relaxation from cardiovascular, uh, metabolic, uh, muscle skeletal, uh, respiratory or uh, neurological disease were targeted. Uh, this is our uh, experimental schedule. Uh, as a 15 week course, uh, the participant took a course called Understanding uh, Beauty. The title was uh, the title of the course was Understanding Beauty. Uh, twice a week or two hours at the same time. Um, the course Understanding of Beauty, that is the um, you know university many education course or you know, uh, liberal arts education course with the purpose of upgrading the power of imagination to overcome the fact-centered world and improving one's problem discovery and problem-solving abilities. Uh, the figure one shows the equipment used in this study. It has the characteristic of uh, being able to attach and detach uh, naturally. It can be used conveniently without using uh, the traditional electrode pool. The second uh, figure uh, shows the uh, distribution of electrode on the uh, cerebral uh, scalp according to the 1020 uh, system. 1020 interval according to the international EG standard. It was measured by activating the electrode uh, in the area colored in red uh, in this figure. Then we'll explain the um, uh, characteristics of uh, the uh, cerebral scalp used in, in this study. The position of the CZ electronic uh, electrode is the first reference uh, point to find when attaching the uh, electrode and the position is measured with um, tape measured in a straight line from the root of the nose to the point of the back of the head measure the distance from the front of the left auricle to the front of the right auricle, front, back, and right, left were selected as the midpoint of the intersection of each uh, 0.5 points of the measured distance. The uh, F3, F4 electrode position are the, at the intersection of the midpoint between F7 and FZ and midpoint between FP1 and C3. 
F4 is selected as the point where the midpoint between F8 and Fg and the midpoint between Fp2 and C4 intersects with the same principle. The position on P3 and P4 electrode is the point where the midpoint between P7 and Pz and the midpoint between O1 and C3. The location of P4 electrode was selected at the intersection of the midpoint between P8 and Pz and the midpoint between O2 and C4. T3 and T4 electrode positions correspond to the uh, auditory center. Uh, the boundary between the uh, temporal and parietal regions correspond to the veronic sensory language centers. In this area, it is difficult to obtain the alpha rhythm in a stable state in any case. And a lot of fast wave components of low potential appear. Uh, we'll explain the method. The, the resistance of the electrode on the, uh, the cerebral scope was adjusted to the minimum uh, measured. Uh, seven electrode CZ, F3, F4, P3, P4, T3, T4 were attached to the scalp with the central pole, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, and temporal lobe of the uh, cerebral scalp as the center. Two reference electrodes were attached to both uh, ear lobes. A small amount of electrode paste was applied to the electrode and then um, electrode was attached. The measurement is performed by uh, having the subject close their eyes in a dark and quiet environment to remove, remove noise caused by surrounding uh, surroundings. After sitting in a comfortable uh, position, measurement was started uh, when the EG waveform stabilized. EG was measured for 10 minutes. Alpha wave, theta wave, and beta wave were analyzed. Um, statistical uh, processing comes next. In this study, data obtained for each electrode attachment location, seven locations over uh, four repeated measurements were analyzed. A multivariate approach was adopted under the assumption that the data according to the uh, location of each electrode attachment at seven locations were uh, correlated. So we did not uh, use the um, univariate approach, but the uh, multivariate approach because due to the, uh, the, the nature of the uh, data we collected. Since repeated measurements were made, the statistical analysis was performed using RM MANOVA. RM MANOVA uh, means, you know, um, repeated measures, multivariate analysis of variance. This is RM because we have, uh, we had uh, four repeated measures. And this is MANOVA because, as I said before, um, we have seven, uh, seven attachment locations uh, around the, um, brain so and we wanted to um, analyze these data at the same time not univariately but the uh, multivariate approach so overall data was divided into five modules relative alpha relative beta relative theta concentration and stability 
and the same model was applied to each model each model. 